Hi, I'm Mark Peterson from Trimex Solutions. Today I wanted to show you how to apply one-line fonts or stick fonts to your SolidWorks models. This may be useful for applying a machining operation such as etching. My sheet metal stand for my phone currently includes a relatively complex cut. And it occurs to me that this laser path for this cut might be pretty long and therefore expensive. I could check that by expanding my sheet metal cut list folder and going to properties. And as we can see here, cutting length enters almost 150 millimeters. Another option for doing something similar to this might be to use stick fonts. So I'll suppress this library feature part and create a sketch on that same face. I want to zoom in here to the area where I'm going to apply text. Just simply choose the text tool for my sketch toolbar. I, need, I can select a curve to apply this text to. I have a predefined one here. I'll just type Trimec in the window. Now from here I can flip my text and orient it uh, centered or uh, what have you, but uh, ultimately what I'm interested in is the font that's being used for this text. The default font is the document font. Uh, in order to use a different font I'll need to uncheck the use document font uh, checkbox here and then choose font. And I can choose any font that's uh, been installed in Windows. So for example, with the installation of SOLIDWORKS 2014 or greater, it includes the OLF Simple Sans OC font, which I can use. Notice this is a single line or a stick font. Now this may be an issue if you plan on cutting straight through because the center of this E will be left out or removed. So there are other options. For example, we can look at the fonts folder inside Windows and any font that's been applied here or installed here at c colon slash windows slash fonts is available for use inside SOLIDWORKS. Windows comes installed with uh, several stencil fonts and if you don't like any of those of course you can download some from the internet. I have some that I found on the SOLIDWORKS forum this TC Laser Regular and TC Laser Sans that I like to use every once in a while. Let's take a look at what those look like real quick. Just simply type TC in here and I can see my Laser Sans font. Selecting that and hitting OK uh, shows that on the screen. So this, this may work or I can use the OLF uh, single line font, which, whichever one is most appropriate. So I'll go back to the OLF font for now. I'll confirm that by hitting check in the confirmation corner and then check again to exit the sketch. And now I'm ready to export this to DXF. It's a very simple process, right-clicking on any face on the solid body and choose Export to DXF. Then from here, set a file name, choose DXF as the Save As type, it should already be chosen. And if you do want to set any options, you can. So here you can use the, you can select different versions for the output. You can enable custom mapping, so if you want sketches to all be output to a different color, you can do that uh, using this Enable button. And there are several other options that you can run through. I'll just click on save using the default options here and in my property manager I'll need to, s to set the radio button for sheet metal, selecting geometry and of course sketches here is appropriate. When I confirm that the DXF will be processed and then I'll be presented with the DXF cleanup window. This is a very minimal window where I can zoom in on different features inside the DXF and I can remove specific entities for example the uh, the line that I use to locate the position of my text. But it is rudimentary, so when I do save this, I may want to open this up with another 2D tool, for example, DraftSite. DraftSite is a free 2D tool that you can download directly off of the SOLIDWORKS website, and it opens up DXF and DWG files. And from here, I can drag and manipulate my view, rotate things around, uh, box select different text or items, change the layer or the color, for output to my CNC laser or water jet. 